scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. It was Malachi the prophet who arranged it together to give us some level of spiritual intelligence. Before Malachi, we did not have the understanding that ABC will happen when we tithe and ABC will not happen when we do not tithe. The curse is inevitable upon any life, any church, any organization that fails to tithe out of revelation and understanding. This is the predicament of many of us sitting down right now looking at me. It's not about lack. It's not about lack. It's about creation refusing to respond to you. Are, you. are you getting the point now? So your dominion is thwarted completely when God's portion is not returned to him. Hallelujah. Are you getting the point now? This was what Melchizedek was teaching Abraham. Abraham, forget about dominion. When you are still holding God's portion, you cannot activate the operation of the blessing upon your life. And then he says this, and Abraham blessed him with all of the tithes. And then a pronouncement was made upon his life that turned around his destiny. Let's go to Malachi chapter 3, please. By me kings reign and princes decree justice. With me are riches, wealth, and honor. Yea, durable riches. Malachi, please. Chapter 3. Let's begin our reading from verse 8. And let's hear what the prophet has to tell us. Malachi chapter 3, verse 8. Everyone read the first five words. One, two, read. Answer it. The answer is personal. That's what God is asking you. Will a man rob God? Ah, how does the prophet start talking about robbery now? Will a man, will a church rob God? Will an organization rob God? It's a question. And then he said, yet. Because your answer would have been no. And he says, yet ye have robbed me. So, the prophet is speaking on behalf of heaven and he's talking about the issue of stealing and robbery here. He says, but ye say, wherein have we robbed you? And he said, in what? In tithes and offering. That means you have violated a principle. Next verse, as a result. Read it. Watch this. He says, as a result of robbing me, as a result of keeping back the portion that activates the operation of the blessing and compels creation to hear you and respond to you, enforcing your dominion. He says, you are cursed. Not that God is saying, I curse you. He's saying, inevitably, you now become the victim. Of situations and circumstances because the principle of exemption has been violated are you getting what I'm saying now and then he says for you have robbed me even this whole 
a nation can rob God. A church can rob God. A business can rob God. An organization can rob God. He says, whoever you are, if you do not engage in this mystery of exemption and dominion, inevitably, the course of creation will catch up with you. It's not if, it's when it will catch up. Then it gives you a remedy. Next verse. Bring ye how many? He's telling you now. The prophet Malachi is teaching us how to get back into the, the mysterious secret of exemption that brings us into the blessing and brings us ultimately into dominion. He says, bring ye all the tithes into my storehouse that there may be meat in mine house and prove me now here with say the Lord of hosts. If I will not, these are the blessings now that will happen to you. Number one is what? The heavens will be open. Write it down. The first key that the prophet shows us that will happen to a man that dares to return God's portion is that you walk under an open heavens. The heavens are closed over many people. The heavens are closed over many churches. You can produce posters and handbills and do everything you know to do. When the heavens are closed, it becomes obvious to men. There are many people binding all kinds of demons and the demons keep mocking you because the moment you are walking in rebellion, they are authorized to find expression. They are called rulers of darkness. Their dominion is activated whenever there is darkness. Are you getting what I'm saying now? This is not about money. This is about the quality of your existence. This is about dominion. This is about activating the blessing. That anointing, that, that grace, that agency of the spirit upon your life. Number two, he says, and I will pour you out a blessing. Now, this is, this is amazing. A blessing. It says that there will not be room enough to receive it. Meaning, I will pour you a blessing that your lifetime cannot exhaust it. Your very lifetime, you will have to necessarily transfer it to your children and children's children. Watch this. This principle of tithing is the surest way to guarantee the future of your children and your children's children. Anytime you fail to tithe, you just stole from their future and robbed them. Every time you fail to tithe, you sign a covenant of poverty a covenant with your children and children's children authorizing creation to fight them. You will not have room enough to contain it. You will have to transfer it. So the Bible says a good man liveth an inheritance for his children's children according to the order of the blessings of fatherhood and tithing it should extend to the fourth generation. That means if you die, you secure your generation to the fourth. If your children die, they secure their generation. It's God's system of maintaining dominion upon the earth. Are you getting blessed now? How many of you are already signing poverty and signing hardship for your unborn children? This is what many of our parents did to us. And so you get up and you find out that creation fights you. Everywhere you go, everything is fighting you. You call it bad luck. Everything fights you. Everything fights you. Opportunities come and go. Nothing seems to work well. God's designated portion. Let me tell you something about the operation of demon spirits. Do you know why many people keep going through deliverance again and again and again and it does not happen because it's not just by casting we're talking of legal grounds here are you getting me now when a demon comes to manipulate an entity or an individual illegally you can cast that person just by the name of jesus are you getting what i'm saying but when you willfully authorize the operations of demons there is no amount of prayer and fasting 
that will cast it away. The only key that can speak is the blood of Jesus. That is the situation that he said they overcame them. These kinds of cases, it's not just by saying go out. No, they overcame them. Why? Because when you invoke the blood, he comes in as your substitute. That becomes the only remedy of him giving you a chance to start again. How many believers have disgraced and mocked themselves running around from one deliverance house to another? My job is not working. I need promotion. Let me tell you, when creation fights you, you are a loser for life. I guarantee you. I don't care what opportunities open. I don't care what comes to you. When the creation does not submit to you, everything will work against you. Your children always become the dullest. When rain is washing houses, you are the one that it will wash your house. When anything bad is happening, I say, ah, why is bad luck happening to me? Bad luck is not happening to you. Creation is engaging the cause that you refuse to exempt yourself out of. See, Job knew this. Job, Job knew this. That was why he was so, he was so passionate about tithe and offerings to an extent that when his children were not even doing anything wrong, he would do it in advance for them. That's how the fortune of Job was restored. It's a mystery. You would think that a man who had gone to the lowest point in his life would never be able to rise again. But by the mystery. A man called J.C. Penny. Many of you know him. A Christian businessman. He began to practice tithing. And supernaturally, God started opening opportunities for him. And he rose to a, a point where his organization, you would call it too big to fail. And he said, look, I cannot be tithing hundreds of millions of dollars. I mean, it, it's, it's too much. And he stopped. And everything was died. And he came back to the scratch. Let me tell you, don't play with spiritual laws. They are older than you. When you play with spiritual laws, it's like playing with fire. Whether you believe it or not, it will tear you into pieces and leave you there. There are people who have found peace with creation. It's like how elders do this. They call it appeasing the gods. So they pour small wine on the ground. They say this is for the gods. Well, I take your own and leave us in peace. And it seemed to work for them. Creation fights non titers Write it down. Creation fights non titers Creation fights non titers the curse of creation fights non titers Your spiritual exemption from the curse that is upon creation is bringing God's designated portion and bringing it with joy and bringing it with understanding. Hallelujah. The Bible says, verse 11, and I will what? Rebuke the devourer. The only place in scripture where God tells you, just calm down. I will take care of the devourer. Do you know who the devourer is? The devourer is a spirit. The devourer is a spirit. He is the one who is an envoy of the curse upon creation. The devourer causes loss. The devourer causes death. The devourer causes mishap. The devourer causes misfortunes. This is the ministry of the devourer. Whenever the curse is ready to catch up with you, the devourer comes. Mysterious accidents. Mysterious failures. Inexplainable setbacks. Circles of misfortune. The curse of creation is catching up with a man. How many rich people are living as if they are not working? They thought the, the secret is promotion. Then they got a job and it has not changed. You buy a new car. Somebody just goes out to test the car and returns back with two tires because the car is scattered into nonsense. 
the moment they pay your arrears five million you fall sick your wife falls sick the children fall sick they keep treating them when the money finishes they are healed by themselves the devourer the devourer are you getting what i'm saying you enter the exam hall and then you blank out and you come out you are conducting tutorials for others but you yourself will not be able to excel it's not just fasting it's not just prayer it's not just deliverance in terms of casting out demons i tell you the truth see listen listen to me you know why there are many people before you lay hands on them the demons fly out they just went for retreat as soon as you want they just say yeah, let's stroll out and allow this this guy to just roam around and waste his time because they know that they have been authorized see you cannot destroy principalities you can only dominate them that's why the bible says christ is the head even christ recognizes the presence of principalities are you blessed please it says and he shall not destroy the fruit of your ground your ground is anywhere you plant it could be your job it could be whatever it is that you are doing it says neither shall your vine cast her fruit before her time saith the lord of hosts and then verse 12 the last verse says all nations shall call you blessed and it says for ye shall become a delightsome land the word delightsome is the word well favored is the word fortunate fortunate well favored right fortunate so if i walk to this brother and say brother take 10 naira and he collects people say ah you are lucky no you are not lucky and then he goes outside and another person says are you so 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 and so please come i have something for you say kai bros you are lucky oh no you are not lucky you are at peace with creation there is a mysterious supernatural anointing upon you a church that does not tithe i guarantee you in the name of the lord they will struggle forget about dominion whether financially or everything i know churches that threaten their members if you leave my church i will curse you better come and add to the numbers and they say people come and receive miracles and go and they move all around they are always broke they are always begging things are always not happening creation does not have any respect whether it's koinonia or whatever god himself spoke a curse who will revert the curse listen while you are seated or standing looking at me this is a key to supernatural exemption from the vicissitudes of life you want to survive in the nigeria of today please exempt yourself from the nonsense that is killing people look at how high blood pressure is destroying people because creation has refused to obey them money come to me now say are you joking does it happen just like that it only happens the creation will only hear your voice when God's portion is returned to him. And so there are people, watch this, there are people that get up in the morning, brothers and sisters, before evening, there are untold blessings upon their lives. People go out of their way to favor them. A lady is moving around. You may think she's not as fine, but you see all the brothers who are praying for pursuing her, and they say, we are not embarrassed. Ah, there is an ointment. Ask Esther. There is an ointment. It does not just happen. It's a distinguishing anointing. It's an ability of the spirit that causes things to... The best way I can use it, I can describe it as fortune or good luck. Nothing just happens. There are no customers coming in my shop. I, I don't know. Let's paint the place green. You, play, you can paint it green painted red, painted white, painted blue. If you are a robber, creation 
fight you. The very soil upon which your shop is laid upon will fight you. Who is God speaking to? How many of our parents have refused to tithe? They have been working since they were 20 years. Many of them are old right now. But there is nothing about their lives that show for it. Please, let me tell you something. Pay attention to this. Don't fight the Bible. You will be a victim of it. Now watch this. How does tithing relate to the blessing in the New Testament? Besides, let me tell you something. Tithing is not an Old Testament concept. It never came with the law. When the law was fulfilled and abolished, it was never part of it. Tithing is still relevant in the New Testament. Watch this. I want to share with you a very powerful mystery on how you activate the operation of the blessing in your life. Hebrews chapter 5. Adonai 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 You reign on earth Help me In your name We will rise Adonai You reign on earth Watch this The Bible in Hebrews chapter 5 Begins to give us The high priestly ministry of Jesus Watch this. Hebrews chapter 5 reveals Jesus now as our high priest. Are you getting the point now? The high priest of the church. Not just the second Adam alone. Not just the apostle of our faith. But the high priest. And then it starts by saying. For every high priest, verse 1. Taken from among men. Is ordained for men in the things pertaining to God. That they may both offer gifts and sacrifices for sin. Now go to verse 5. Go to verse 5. we we'll read down to verse 7. It says, so also Christ glorified not himself to be made a high priest. Watch this. It says, but he that said unto him, thou art my son. In other words, God did not elevate himself to a position of a high priest. It, I mean Jesus now, the Christ. It was God, the Father, who authorized him to function, to carry out that ministry. He says, today I have begotten you, verse 6. As he said also in another place. Now watch this. He says, thou art what? A priest. How long? Forever. After the order of who? Remember, we talked about that man, Melchizedek, right? Melchizedek was a priest of the Most High. Now, the Bible says Jesus, to the New Testament believer, is a high priest. And he functions in the order of Melchizedek. What was Melchizedek's function with Abraham? He received tithe and released the blessing. That was all he did. That was everything about his priestly office. He received tithe. And release the blessings. He received tithe. So Christ in the office of Melchizedek. The moment you honor him with that designation portion. The same way Melchizedek blessed Abraham. He authorizes creation to start responding to you. The Bible says you are a priest forever. Please are you getting what I'm saying? All that Melchizedek did because the Bible says he is after the order, meaning his function is in the similitude of Melchizedek. We never see Melchizedek doing anything except receiving God's designated portion and then activating the blessing on the giver. Christ himself awaits standing in the throne room for obedient believers. So the moment you bring his portion, he receives it as a high priest. Although you brought it to a church, although you gave it to a man of God, you are not sowing it. You are not doing favor. It's like you are answering a register and you stand before the throne and he receives it. And then he says, possessor. 
of the heavens and the earth and you come out and fortunes start happening and people start working against you mysteriously but consistently this is the mystery of dominion Christ has become our high priest after the order of Melchizedek so a church that tithes takes God designated portion and says Lord we know that in Nigeria there is struggle people do not even honor churches they don't honor men of God they blackmail them one little scandal and your ministry is dead Lord we do not want this devourer this is your designated portion and the high priest receives it and he says koinonia possess your territory possess the heavens and the earth and you were sitting in your room and something started moving you i won't come for koinonia but you found yourself here it's called the blessing it's a mysterious operation of the holy spirit how many lives watch this how many lives are under the yoke of the bondage of corruption some of you seated looking at me right now. You can't wait for next week. Oh God, miracle service, my bailout. I'm giving you a key. I'm giving you a powerful key. Tithing has nothing to do with money. Tithing has everything to do with dominion. Tithing activates the operation of the blessing. So creation begins to respond to you. You may be small, you may be illiterate, but creation will respond to you. Doors will open on their own volition. Men will run over themselves to favor you. While you will get into the same challenge that somebody is getting into, a helper will come and take you out and leave the other person there because God's portion has been given. Listen. There was a time in my life I was born again, but I was not consistent with tithing. And I can tell you it was hell on earth. Hallelujah. When we started Koinonia, by the grace of God, we have been joyously and happy. It does not matter what offering or collection happens in this ministry. God's portion must be returned to him before anything is done i don't care what the money is for god's designated portion that is the reason why we will only keep going from glory to glory because everything within our territory supports us the national union of road transport workers asks the protocol they love us with all their heart the mopol and the ministry uh, and, and the military the, i mean we we have access to all their officers just like that Almost every one officer that has found himself working here has either been promoted or relocated mysteriously. Because when you come under a covering that is faithful, you can tap into that law of exemption. Are you getting what I'm saying now? I taught my mother this principle. I said, mommy, if you never do anything, please be faithful in time. There was a time my mother said she wanted to start selling logs of firewood. I said, my mother, is it that bad? But today, every devil in hell, every devil, including the ones that will be manufactured now, if there are any, they know that my mother is blessed. As every foul spirit in Zaria, I say it with confidence, not by boasting, but that these principles are irrefutable. It will happen for students. It will happen for married people. It will happen for business people. God's designated portion. The key to activating the blessing from Titan is consistency. 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 When the Lord honors you with one million, and you look at 10%, 100,000. Ah! Say, how? No, this is too much. Ah, ah. ah. How can I bring 100,000, bring it to Koinonia? Who are you? You think we're idiots? We just walk. Monkeys walking. Baboon is chopping. And you watch 
Watch ignorant people educate you in newspapers. Watch ignorant people who do not know God. Lambast pastors and put things about tithing. The devil is using them. They write articles that mock people. And when you read it, it responds to your greed. And you say, yes, this journalist is wise. They now say, let's calculate. If everybody in Koinonia brings 10,000 tithe, 10,000 times, 5,000 or 4,000, you say, Abba, is supposed to not reach. You see, let me tell you something. My blessing, my dominion is not tied to Koinonia. My dominion is tied to my own personal tithing, my own blessing. I say it with all humility by the grace of God. I fear God. You can ask him. I have not failed. From the time I made up my mind, I am always faithful in my tithing. The moment God blesses me, the first thing is, Lord, your designated portion. Not, I beg, take Jare, let this cause live. No, with joy and honor, it gives me pleasure. That's why my life will keep remaining a mystery. You can only talk about it and maybe criticize it, but there's nothing stoppable about it. Uh -uh. There is an ancient mystery. This ministry you see is sitting upon a foundation that is unshakable and immovable. Many of you just got to hear yesterday or today that we change venue. I say this with all humility. How many ministries can afford that thing? To just change venue. You know you are coming to meet empty chairs. But it doesn't matter where we meet. There is a spiritual factor. I'm teaching you because it's not a reserve for Koinonia. It's your heritage. So it's not the location of the business or the church that is making it fail. Believe me, creation is fighting you. People were standing under the rain. There are people standing under the rain. Do you think these people standing are idiots? Some of these people are noble men. Some of them are family men. Do you know what it means for a young man? We are talking of young people to just come and stand like a zombie for hours. Haba people. The only time you do that is when you are collecting your scholarship. Because you know there is a reward. So you say myself endure. Let's stand. It's a secret to sweatless dominion. You stand. I pray that God will make you see this mystery. Many of you are not faithful in tithing. You can start and then you just say, Kai. You bath whether it's convenient or not. Because you are aware of the consequences of not bathing. Sometimes you will need to drag yourself to the bathroom. And while you are murmuring, your body will say, bath and be healthy or don't bath and die. And then you have to choose. God is setting before you. It is not about witches and wizards. It is not about principalities and powers. It's about engaging the mysterious law that men have used from grace, from what, what do they call it, from grass to grace. It has taken men from nothing. People have slept by the wayside. You listen to a woman called Jemima Mbaya. Many of you have heard her teachings. This woman used to sleep on the road in Joss. She used to use a carton. But today she has become a voice. There was once upon a time this ministry. A few people were here. We used to meet on the floor just like this. Not even mad. But see what the Lord has done. Let me tell you, there is no situation in your life that is new. You can argue it and look at it or get angry tonight and say, this is it. I found the key. This is it. I found the key. Ah, tide your way out of misery. The, the yoke of bondage is too much. It will kill you. Tide your way out. Churches, tide your way out of financial hardship tight your way out of suffering and hardship and misery stop authorizing satan my children and my generation by the grace of god will remain blessed forever god knows not just because i'm a minister imagine how blessed my children will be 
I have secured their future. You would think it's because I'm in the position that I am. But it's a mystery. From birth till they go to be with Christ, they will walk in the blessing. Listen, look at me. Some of you were born in families where nobody believed in you. Right now, as you are seated here, you are the only hope of your family. Exempt yourself. Exempt yourself. Tonight, exempt yourself. We are going to take the communion. And the communion will do two things. Number one, the communion will advocate because it's the mystery of the blood. Because many of us right now, the bondage of corruption is upon you. You know it. You can fake it. Listen, let me tell you. When everything is not working in your life, there is a cause. Not the cause in your village. Creation is fighting you. I met a young man who said he was getting ready to marry. I said, how much is your budget? He said, 3.5 million. I said, how much do you receive a salary? He said, 30,000. I said, tie yourself to the altar. Otherwise, die there with 20, 20,000 per month. Tie your way to the altar if you are really interested in marriage. Please don't joke with what I'm saying. I was thinking about this all the while. While we were coming, this was all that I was thinking about. I said, Lord, will you help your people to understand tonight? I have seen people in this ministry. I have seen people that I know who will not be able to buy yogurt of 100 naira. I have watched them tight themselves to practical dominion. Don't think everybody seated here is broke and suffering. Let me tell you sincerely, not everybody is under this cause of creation. There are people who are at peace with creation. Hallelujah. Something mysterious happened today. I made an order of something to come in. And then um, the head of protocol went to get it for me. And while we were coming, someone called me and said, are you this and that and that? Say yes. I said, um, I just saw you and I found out that we are from the same place. He said, the order that you made, have they sent it? I said, yes. He said, wow, I have already sent another one of that order to come in again. You call it luck. I call it the mystery of exemption. Exemption. Listen, listen. I, I want you to understand this. This is very powerful. That's why you hear people like Bishop Oyedeko. They may make some statements that look like they are bragging. A thief came, I think it was a thief or something. I heard the story that he came to living faith. He was standing outside just like this and he fell down and died. Nobody prayed, no police. A, the earth fought him to his death. There are some people that are untouchable. You just see, try to touch them and you see what will happen. Everything will fight you from your clothes to creation to the car that is carrying you. You see them ordinary, but those with them, creation is for them. You, The more you criticize, the more they rise. It looks like they, nothing can be done. There is an ancient mystery. Bring God's designated portion and reign in absolute dominion. I tell you this, even if we decide to hold Koinonia in Gaskia, the exact thing will happen. Ask those who we, we went to minister in Funab. I don't think they have ever seen that kind of overflow. A gigantic auditorium. I think we'll show the workers during retreat. The same way it happens in Koinonia. It was painful. They almost tore my clothes yesterday. I returned with seeds upon seeds. The hampers, the bags that they brought gift in. They had to stop us at the airport to transfer it into something. I've not even opened it to see what is there. There are some of you tonight, you came with seeds to sow. Do you know why? Because when you bless me, it will come on you. It, see, this, this thing is, this thing is, is almost like Ojoro. You become so blessed, people have to use you as a ladder to climb. But many of us have been cheated. Welfare, please bring the communion quickly. Many of us have been cheated. Hear me. As you are seated right now, there are many of us, everything is fighting you. Your family is fighting you. 
your academics is fighting you your relationship is fighting you every door seems to close exempt yourself we are first going to plead for mercy because these principalities is not the issue of prayer to say I cast you please. gentlemen sorry you have to make a little sacrifice right now please do not be offended everybody will participate in the communion no don't worry I think you can stay hallelujah as you partake of this communion listen this is a communion unto an empowerment to start tithing it's a communion that will supply strength to your spirit man it says for this cause many are weak many are weak many are limited for this cause many become sick mysterious sickness fibroids growing out of nowhere and for this cause many die Psalms 82 verse 5 Psalms 82 verse 5 when you are not a tither there is nothing you do that will work if it is working now you are only seeing a mirage I guarantee you in the name of the Lord a shock is about to come your only scriptural exemption is your tithe God's portion God's portion many of you saw titus coming and then when you saw titus coming you were just looking at them my tithe belongs to God no matter what happens I cannot touch my tithe even if the world is going places it is God's portion it is a matter of life and death his designated portion bring ye all the tithes Koinonia, bring ye all the tithes into my storehouse and prove me. I vow to you, no matter where you are, tithe your way out of trouble. Tithe your way to the top. The Bible says, they know not, neither will they understand. As a result, they walk in darkness. And all the foundations of the earth are out of course. Listen, this is one of the most powerful message you would have received this year. Whether you are a director, whether you are on a job, I don't care what you do. If you are not a tighter, you have signed up with struggle forever. Every time you refuse to tight, you have not only destroyed yourself, you have destroyed your children's destiny. How can I be so wicked as a father to allow my children come up? You can, you can have Rema. You can be a prayer warrior. You can be whatever. If you are not faithful, the tithe. You are not faithful in tithing. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. This is a night of destiny. Lift your voice in one minute. Cry passionately to God. And say, Lord, thank you for bailing me out. Go ahead and pray. Thank you for bailing me out. Thank you for bailing me out. There is a bondage of corruption. There is a cause of hardship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Lift your voice and say, Lord, as I partake of this communion, supernatural grace to never fail in my tithing. Now I see that there is a high priest waiting for me, waiting for my business, waiting for my church. There is a high priest. After the order of Melchizedek, 
that receives of my tithe and releases and activates the blessing lift your voice and pray Are you praying inside and outside? Communion is not something to eat when you are hungry. There is a mystery. The blood tonight will cry mercy. It will cry out to the earth. Cry out to creation. Mercy and grace. Mercy and grace. That's what the communion is for tonight. Mercy for your shortcomings. Grace for consistency. Hallelujah. Now look at me. The Bible says not to partake of the communion unworthily. Because although this may be wine and bread but I want you to understand that in the spirit the moment the power of God comes upon it it is the mystery of the very body and the flesh of the Christ and the Bible says partaking of it unworthily can cost you even your life you're here right now you have not given your heart to the Lord or you have found yourself derailing the ways of the Lord lift your voice in one minute and say Lord I make my ways right according to the ordinances of the scripture. Let me not partake of the communion unworthily. Lord, I cry for mercy. Please pray. I know you, you take communion all the time. But I tell you, this is a communion with a difference. We don't do religious things here. We do things out of revelation. Heaven and earth are throwing you. Angels bow before you. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Hallelujah. Now, in one minute before we direct you on how to do, I'd like you to mention all the things that you know are fighting you and declare that by the mystery of this communion, the blessing comes upon your life. Lift your voice and pray. Come on, you're not praying, Koinonia. Mean business with this. Is it your finances? Pray. Is it your health? Is it your job? Is it marriage? Relationship? I engage the mystery that brings the blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, you left your ordinance with the church. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands upon this communion set. I release the power of God upon it. It loses its earthly significance as an ordinary drink, an ordinary wine. And I declare that it takes on a heavenly significance. Lord, let there be deliverances as people partake of this. Let there be healings. Many of you, as you take this, there will be instant miracles, instant breakthroughs. Chains will fall off your life. Hallelujah. Now, we're going to do it this way. If you have a seat, please sit down. All those who have seats, please sit down. Please do that quickly. Let's save time. 
we are going to start with all those standing just pick the bread pick the cup and then drop it here and then please I think the rain may have I, don't, I think it has reduced a bit so those who take up this you are coming back in but please the moment you take it you can just give space so that we'll do that and then we'll coordinate very quickly worship team you will guide us through powerful sessions of worship hallelujah praise the lord father we bless this in the name of jesus go ahead lord we give you praise those seated be praying in tongues lift your voice and be praying hallelujah all right direct them you can begin to come now in the name of jesus it is blessed Please open it and let them partake of it. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. The mystery of the body. The mystery of the body. There is an anointing upon what you are taking. It's not a ritual. Shaka pakata prata gada bala debo. Rakata prakata gada bakori alaba. Those of us seated, make sure you are praying. Make sure you are praying. Lord, this is the end of this captivity. Every manifestation of darkness that has stopped me from being a titan and kept me in bondage. I cause it in the name of Jesus. Please make it snappy. Make it snappy. Make it snappy. Lakata prakata lakoto soto prakata banana bo. The angels bow before you. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. The door, yeah. angels bow before you. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Please, as fast as you can. As fast as you can make it snappy so that we save time. Make up a rada banana banana. Heaven and earth adore you. Angels bow before you. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Heaven and earth. Let me encourage those going outside if you can accelerate your, your movement please those coming let's let's make it snappy there are already so many people outside and we have to hurry up Oh, we discern the Lord's body tonight.
taking it, the Lord is telling me that from this communion tonight, He's going to be rolling away the reproach of many people. Many people. That's what the Lord is telling me. That the age-long reproach of many people will be rolled mysteriously. God has shown you the key. The key. The key to getting your life and your destiny back. He's shown you the key. That one key. That's what will open you to a mysterious dimension of wealth. You are mighty on your throne. 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 The blood speaking mercy and grace. Speaking mercy and grace. Speaking mercy and grace. You are mighty on your throne. You are mighty on your throne. You are mighty on your throne.
all hands together and in the next five minutes we are going to blast in tongues and you are going to speak that every force that has authorized creation to fight you that has brought misfortune i like you to say the blood speaks help those under the anointing them hold hands together and let's begin to pray those outside make sure you are holding hands and let's pray in tongues it's the season of the rain please help those under the anointing as you pray the power of God is going to be setting people free as we pray the blood is speaking the blood is speaking challenging the devourer challenging the devourer challenging the forces of darkness don't stop don't stop blasting tongues for breakthroughs oh god for breakthroughs oh god dominion over creation dominion over circumstances dominion over situations financial dominion marital dominion dominion over territories dominion over environments It must change. It must change. It must change. Insist. It must change. It must change. Rakata lakata rakatosh. Rabata kata praga da bala da bosh. Maka pras kata parekete. Enkratete enkratesh. Elakate lakotos. Maka pras kata likete. Rekete te 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 praga da bala da bosh. Maka pratos kotosh. Come on, press. Don't be tired. Don't be tired. Lebrata kata la bosh. Maka ta ta ta. Mata pratas kata. Lekete te. We're engaging mysteries. We're engaging mysteries. Mysteries of power. Mysteries of dominion. Rapa bakata balanaba. Lakata kata proskotosh. Emproto soto balagade. Skaparada babalaba nobo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a season of the rain. Rain does not just fall. Let me tell you something. As you commit yourself to returning God's portion, never make anything steal away your passion for tithing. No matter what it is. As God blesses you, whether in your life, in your church, in your business, be consistent. Regardless of what you are seeing, 
and you will activate an ancient law you will activate a mystery melchizedek the high priest christ receives of your tithe and pronounces upon you and the earth hearing his voice will start walking with you everything in creation the stars will fight for you the earth will speak for you men will speak for you it's not luck it's not luck is a mystery is not luck is a predictable mystery hallelujah lift your hands and i pray for you the communion tonight speaks of mercy and grace mercy advocating for the legal access the devil has had you have needlessly suffered the bondage of corruption because you have refused to exempt yourself you have robbed god and so the cause is wounding you bad but tonight in the name that is above all names the bible says they overcome them i command every devourer over anyone's life anyone's business anyone's academics anyone's marriage anyone's family here in the name that is above all names by the overcoming power of the blood we cause the devourer now in the name of jesus christ i command every principality i speak to every spirit in high places that you let god's people go free now i declare grace like never before to be a faithful title receive it now grace to always appear before your melchizedek the high priest with your designated portion thereby activating the blessing there is a part two of this teaching ah, yeah, 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 yeah. don't miss miracle service next next week friday will be fire i will show you the the mystery behind the operation of the blessing hallelujah there is another mystery i'll be sharing with you next week but i pray for you as you go and teach your congregations as you teach your roommates your fellow workers your loved ones i pray that this cause that is upon creation let it be far from you and your household in the name of jesus and therefore i speak to the earth you hear the word of the lord everywhere you see these ones they are exempted from the cause they are exempted from the cause of misfortune they are exempted from the cause of failure they are exempted from the cause of bad luck i release upon you the blessing in the name of jesus christ suddenly you will walk out of this place and you can't tell what will start happening suddenly calls that would not have come the moment it begins to happen know that an ancient secret suddenly your business that has closed people say open it for our sake open it for our sake suddenly the helpers of destiny that have always been there but a law has prohibited them will now be released into your life and destiny in the name of jesus christ i declare that for every family represented that will begin to faithfully bring before the high priest god's portion i'm declaring that the blessing begins to go to every home every nook and cranny of your activity for those that are students i declare that the mystery of success that 10 times better anointing let it be activated in your life right now there are some of you you don't receive support from home nobody supports you 
you are literally on your own there is a way out you don't need to know anybody on he said no we know man under the in the flesh don't let anybody fool you that you must know somebody if you know this law this one thing is needful you will watch strangers come to feed your flock you will watch your gates continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles I want you to test God I want you to prove him and let God beat you to your imagination I don't care what you studied in school I don't care who you know or who you don't know an ancient mystery that has been responsible for fearful levels of dominion father let there be remarkable testimonies beginning from today oh god may your people never default in bringing you the portion that is yours in the name of jesus christ whenever your faith wants to fail you in titan may there be a fresh supply from the throne in the name of jesus christ whenever your circumstance wants to make you look like you are wasting your time always remember melchizedek my high priest is waiting when you are in trouble that's not the time to eat your tight that's the time to faithfully go before your high priest and let that consistent proclamation of the blessing bail you out of any trouble lift your hands and give god praise hallelujah next week is our miracle service for the month of july is the seventh month please invite all your friends and everybody the venue will be at cgc it's going to be an an amazing time of impartations and exposition of mysteries and breakthroughs god is going to be bringing people into their testimonies please invite your loved ones invite everyone that you can bring because your life will never be the same now if you're worshiping with us this is your first time i want you to know that god brought you he brought you here to change your life please make your way to the front right now all first timers we honor you no matter how far you're welcome make your way to the front the lord himself brought you to change your story it back on and celebrate them appreciate them as they come see what the lord is doing bringing them adding to us every day and every week We appreciate all these people standing before us give them a big 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 koinonia welcome hallelujah thank you so so much for making our time to come this is koinonia it's our meeting put together by eternity network international we meet every fridays our venue is cgc this is a special arrangement this is not our regular venue and next week is our miracle service Please be there. Come and come again. Invite your loved ones. I want you to know that we are anointed people and when we bless you, you are blessed. Hallelujah. We want to pray a prayer and release an anointing upon your life that will turn things around in a way that you have never seen. Stretch your hands, saints of God, and begin to bless them. We proclaim the blessing of this house upon you. We bless you with the presence of God. We bless you with passion for spiritual things. We bless you with an anointing. You go and begin to succeed. You go and begin to excel. We declare that your passion for God will rise above everything you have known. No more limitations in your life. We speak over your life. We activate the mysteries of the kingdom over your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming to worship with us. Now I'd like you to follow... Um, there are gentlemen and ladies waving their hands. They will welcome you more warmly on our behalf and give you a few details and then you'll be back. God bless you. Please celebrate them, Koinonia, this way. Gentlemen and ladies, God bless you. Hallelujah. Hello. 
Scriptures exalt us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.